segunda jornada y vamos hasta el sábado. Adelante, Steve. All right, and we are underway. Our first competitor from Poland, Tomasz Czaplinski. He is going explosively end over end. He has done a split wheel. He's done tricky woos. He's done paddle spins. He's done clean ends. He is showing us what flat water freestyle is like as he goes for that super clean cartwheel into a clean split wheel. In the squirt boat class, competitors allowed to paddle any boat they like. And you can see here, Tomas is certainly capable of doing some incredible freestyle tricks in the flat water. However, they have the disadvantage of not getting the mystery move multiplier. So generally speaking, the traditional squirt boats outscore them. However, Tomas with a stunning first ride showing us that he deserves to be in this top five group out of making two cuts already. We've seen uh, Tomas on the interweb, seeing him throw down a lot of different runs over there in Poland. He um, gets really cold over there in uh, Europe and he actually spends a lot of time in the pool, in the heated pool, throwing down a lot of flat water moves to be able to get himself ready for the world tier. It was actually great to see him throw a lot of squirt boating moves in the surface boat and to be able to get here into the finals, he's really embracing the squirt boat appendix, which means there's a lot of moves that you can only do in the squirt boat class, and he's trying to throw that down here in his surface boat. Empezó ya pues esta final del squirt masculino con el polaco Tomasz Zapliski, y ahora vemos en pantalla ni más ni menos que a Bartosz Sauderna que consiguió la cuarta posición, quiere estar entre las medallas, y está esperando a que el juez árbitro le dé el ok para iniciar su actuación. Recordamos que puntúa solo la mejor de tres entradas y por lo tanto estos palistas van a arriesgar todo. Next up, our other surface boater qualifying in the fourth place spot. This is going to be Bartosz Zaderna coming to us from Poland. Bartosz is explosive. He is always smiling. He is always fun. He's great energy. He is a perennial favorite in the men's K1 class. However, in this squirt class, he will be judged as though he was paddling a squirt boat, which means that some of the uh, giant tricks that are possible and he's going to be going for when a few days rolls around and he's competing in the surface boat will not get him a whole lot of points here. Here, he needs to score those moves that are on the squirt boat sheet. And we have seen him do some pretty squirt boat specific moves in, in other rounds. I've seen him actually go for that screwing around the over vertical cartwheels, which is something I have not seen modern play boats doing in the past. And he has the thumbs up. Here we go. Look at that over vertical cartwheel lens. And he goes for that screwing around to start. He is upstream of the judges and he is going to go for probably similar rides as before cartwheel into tricky woo and he switches the paddle just like we saw Claire O'Hara doing on that third end into a split wheel. Couple strokes back upstream to stay in the sweet spot of this eddy as he goes for the tricky woo in the other direction with the switch on the bow. He is doing some very impressive flat water tricks with some paddle spins, some hand ends, some clean ends. This time going for that tricky loop which is a trophy move if he scores it. Really nice looking move as uh, Bartosz goes for what looked to be a one-arm bandit in one direction, one-arm bandit the other direction. He is paddling his way downstream onto the wave, going for that entry move. Now those of you watching at home may be thinking, wait a minute, this is, this is just freestyle kayaking now. This is no longer squirt boating. He finishes strong with a paddle swap loop. Just to let you know, Tomas and Bartosz just beat out a lot of traditional squirt boats with their flat water freestyle skills. Tomas logging a score of 546 points, and we are waiting for Bartosz's. I would not be surprised if that is a good bit higher. Again, he's embracing the squirt boating appendix, which means there's rules and, and uh, different moves you can only do in the squirt boating class. You can see him going over vertical here in the slow motion. Um, to be able to throw his surface boat. I'm really excited to be able to see both the surface boat and the squirt boats coming together as one, to be able to see them throw down here at the squirt boating finals. Bartosz did a fantastic job being able to paddle twirl as well as do a loop at the same time. Very hard to do. Bien, ya tenemos pues la primera puntuación que sube del marcador. What a start. He's got to feel good about that. Next wow. up. Tomasz Czapliski from Poland, starting off, one arm bandit to the left, 
One arm banded to the right, going for the screwing around. I love to see these over vertical ends in the freestyle kayak as he rolls it up, maybe trying to roll it up into a uh, zero to hero. And now he's gonna go into these more traditional moves. The tricky woo linked to another tricky woo into a loop. Wow, tricky woo to tricky loop combo. I have not yet seen that, but he is now going for the tricky woo to the right with the paddle switch as he is looking to get as many points possible to make up for the fact that he's probably not gonna get a mystery move. And this is just beautiful to watch. I love seeing what he is doing up there because it is so rare that we get to see freestyle kayaks do these kind of tricks in the flat water. Tomas showing unbelievable skill as he goes trick to trick, five seconds on the clock, sets it up and goes for that Space Godzilla on the buzzer. Let's give it up for him, everyone. Representing Poland, Tomas Czaplewski. Tomas just showing how composed he is to be able to throw those, that boat around without the use of the paddle. Now that is called going clean. If you go clean without the use of your paddle, you actually get some bonus points for that. He was throwing the boat around going for lots of cartwheeling moves, lots of split wheels and lots of trickies. Without the use of his paddle, you look at the uh, slow-mo, you can see him throwing that boat around going over vertical, we'll try to get those bow screws around as well. Bueno, pues terminó ya la segunda entrada del palista polaco, eh, Tomas Zapliski, and I think that we're almost seeing two different competitions, one against the two Polish paddlers, to see who is the mastermind of the flat water freestyle, and there's another battle going on with the squirt boaters. That's true. It is neat to watch this class because we see so many different styles of paddling, and uh, we are definitely seeing some of the best in the world at both. I've never seen anyone do what these guys are doing in surface boats. And between our three squirt boaters, they're putting down some beautiful, beautiful squirt boat rides as well. After the first rise, Tomas was in the fifth place spot, but we did not have his second ride score yet. And uh, we are going to have to wait and see because he did some fantastic tricks. Next up, also from Poland, Bartosz. Zadurna coming to us, waiting to go big. He says I'm close on his last name. I think he's being generous. But um, we are waiting for Tomas's score, and then we're going to see what Bartosz has for us. Bartosz is a world traveler. Paddled with him in Uganda. See him at a number of events. His hair used to be even bigger. He still has a few dreadlocks, but I remember when you had quite a few that really weighed you down when they got wet. He is waiting for the thumbs up. Meanwhile, he just watched his teammate, Tomas, put down a beautiful flat water ride as our score is being run over to me right now. And it looks like Tomas takes the fourth place spot. The, the score to beat for Tomas, 711 points. If you want to get on top, you better double that. 1,413 points to dethrone Alex Edwards. And here we go. Bartosz up on top, going for a clean tricky woo. He is moving fast, look at this. Paddle switches, clean ends, tricky woos, cartwheels, split wheels. This guy is a joy to watch as he goes end over end, rotating on the bow, rotating on the stern, split wheels, cartwheels, tricky woos, even more. It is hard to even keep up talking with what he's doing in a boat as he goes for that tricky loop which is a cool combo. We're gonna see that in the play boating class as well. Going for the screwing around, flirting with disaster, paddle, paddle, paddle. Do not get sucked down under this bridge. That would not be a fun way to finish this ride as he goes for the one arm bandit one direction. One arm bandit in the other direction. He still has some time on the clock. I don't know how he is still even breathing as he goes for the stern screw to the left. He's going to hit the hole. Will he hit it in time? One last trick, I believe, and there it is. A, a McNasty entry move right on the buzzer. Wow, it is just so cool to see such different styles of boating. Bartosz stoked on that one. Paddle spins. This is all about having fun. The squirt boat competition, day one. Welcome to the World Championships. Wow, he really got close to coming down underneath the bridge here as he was throwing his moves. Got a little bit sucked towards that, but he was just throwing end over end over end. Really, really throwing it so fast and so furiously. 
And I don't know how he was able to hold uh, that composure for so long, not really breathing as he's just going, going, going. Bueno, pues terminó ya la segunda entrada de Bartosz. Eh, el polaco es, eh, Tomasz Zapliski justo mejoró su puntuación en la última entrada y esto quiere decir que Bartosz estaba en este momento en la quinta posición. Veremos si ha conseguido ahora llegar a conseguir una mejor entrada y ver si puede rebasar esta puntuación conseguida hace un momento por Tomasz Zapliski que le metía en la cuarta posición momentánea en esta segunda entrada de esta final squirt masculino. Great to see Bartosz throwing that down in his surface boat, being able to, able to mix it with the squirt boat class there and uh, throw that boat so furiously around. All right, these were second rides of three. Once again, Clay, you are still in second. 1,480 points is your second ride score. We are going straight back to the action, looking upstream as we can see Tomas from Poland throwing around in his surface boat, starting things off for his final run. Let's see what he can throw down. Looks like he is going for these tricky woos into the tricky loop. He is also looking to show us what can be done in a surface boat in the flat water. In Poland, they do actual flat water freestyle competitions in the winter time because they spend so much time indoors because it's cold. That is dedication. Tomas showing us that he is a master of this art. Tomas also is spending a lot of his time over the last couple of weeks giving coaching to some of the other country's athletes in addition to his own training. Tomas, at other events, we have seen him in years past being the master of linking moves. Now, getting some super clean cartwheels and a beautiful ride for Tomas coming to us from Poland, Mr. Zaplipki. Yeah, so seeing him in the surface boat, he's so, well, he get, really knows that boat quite well. You can tell that he spent quite a lot of time on the flat water in that boat to be able to throw it around in the pools over there in Poland. And coming out here to do the squirt boat class, just throwing around, trying to not use the paddle blade, just showing how well he can control that boat without using the paddle blade, going clean and pushing it around. You can see him now going for the tricky woo on the replay into a loop. What an amazing... We will definitely see him later this week in the surface boat class, but already doing so well to make the finals here at the ICF World Championships. Y así termina la actuación de Thomas Sapliski. Le vamos a ver de bien seguro también en la disciplina de freestyle. Así que no nos vamos a despedir. Se acaba seguramente su actuación. No creemos que sea suficiente esta última ronda para conseguirle una medalla. Y con esto vamos a pasar al segundo polaco, Bartos Sauderna. Hey, you know what? Just watching Tomás, my abs are sore. That looks like such an incredible workout. That guy, he must be ripped. I am so amazed with the show that these square boaters are putting out. I'm enjoying it so much. I mean, it's so incredible when the best paddlers of this discipline start to throw down, isn't it, Stevo? It is. It is a thing of beauty to see these modern play boats thrown around in the flat water like squirt boats. I've got a score coming We in. We are getting some numbers at this right, at right at this moment. That's true. Tomas still in fourth place, improves his score with 753 points. Mejoró un poco Tomas Sapliski con 753 puntos. Y por lo tanto siguen iguales las cosas con Bartosz en quinta posición. Inicia ya su entrada. And meanwhile, Bartosz has started his third and final ride as well. He's currently in the fifth place spot. 753 is what he needs to overcome if he wants to take over the fourth place spot from Tomas in this private battle of the surface boats in this freestyle finals for the squirt class. He is doing a good job of doing clean ends, super clean ends, paddle spins, he is once again showing us explosive energy. He bounces end to end into that tricky loop. A lot of these are trophy moves, going for the one arm bandit in one direction as he floats downstream, one arm bandit in the other direction. He is all smiles as he catches the wave into that really nice looking entry McNasty. 10 seconds on the clock as he goes for the Space Godzilla. He goes, oh! 
Oh, for a loop where he throws his paddle right before the buzzer. I see your paddle floating downstream, Bartosh. If you don't want to lose that, you may want to go after it, buddy. It is almost all the way to the rocks as the paddle scoring a mystery move on his behalf. <laughs> Amazing stuff. That was for the crowd, trying to throw it up, maybe trying to catch it as well as he's coming down, but throwing the paddle up in the air as he's going for the loop. Let's have a look at that replay. You can see him going over vertical for those screwing around motion there. You can see him going end over end over end, really embracing the score sheet here. <laughs> and both has just found the bubble. <laughs> so what an amazing guy he is. He's a true character, Bartosz, on the freestyle scene. He's been paddling for his country for many, many years and just loves to be a part of the freestyle competition. Okay, and I have some news for you. If Bartosz doesn't manage to get over 1,120 points, I think that we will already have three medalists. We will not yet know which color will be the medal for each one of them. That's exactly right. We are still waiting for official word on Bartosz's run. However, I think there's a good chance that our top three finishers will be the three squirt boats in this class. That, Clay Wright, we also are likely to see David Rogers and Alex Edwards sharing this podium. Right now we have three rides left for bragging rights as to what this order is going to be. Currently, Clay Wright is in the top with over 1,500 points. Second place, Alex Edward, over 1,400 points. Third place is currently David Rogers. Right now we see Bartosz, you did improve. This is your best ride score. So but, close. But it doesn't beat Tomas. 730 points. Let's give it up for these two. Tomas and Bartosz putting on a flatwater freestyle clinic and taking the fourth and fifth spots.